Hey guys, Davos Gaming here, and welcome to my brand new series on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Um, it's called Honouring Omri. This is going to be a series where I go through the top 23 players of each team. Um, from each team. So, yeah, so you'll see, like, we've got a random assortment of players. We've got bronzes, gold, silvers. Um, and we've got to go through every single player in the top 23. How we do that, um, we look at their match rating at the end of each game. So, for a bronze to, to a silver non-rare, so anywhere from Ungoy's one to Samuelson and any of these silvers, like you see, um, all we need to get a match rating of 6.0 to be upgraded to the next player in their team. So, for example, just to make this a bit, uh, yeah. So yeah, Golden would then go up and be upgraded to Sam Baldock. So he would come out of the team. We'd go to Brighton. Concept. Search Concept. And we would get the next player in the line. Which would be, if I can find him, Sam Baldock. And then we just carry on going. So then, we, so then if he was a rare, if he's a silver rare player, he needs to get a 6.5 rating or above. So, so Tom Davies, the, Tom Davies here, the Deji Deji, um, Jeffrey Schlopp or Alex Wobi or Foyth need to all get a 6.5 rating or above to move on to the next player in the team. Gold non rares like Jesse Lingard will need to get a 7 rating. And then finally, gold rares will need to get a 7.5. The only consolation to this is if. A player is playing out of position. Say I haven't got enough centre backs. Say I haven't got enough goalies. Say I haven't got enough strikers, and I'm playing a winger up front. Whatever. If I was to play Jesse Lingard here, and he uh, he then has to only get one one rating beneath what he needs. So he needs a seven rating normally if he was playing at right mid. If he was to play there, he would only need a six. I hope that makes sense. I'll try and write stuff on the uh, on my edit if I remember. But yeah, so yeah, I've got to go through each team. Um, I'm not allowed to use fitness cards for these players. Um, there's only one man I can use fitness cards for. Now, as you can tell by the title, it's called Honoring Omri. So there's only one man I'm missing, and that is this man. If I can get him up. Thierry Henry. He's a first owner. I packed him on the first few days when it came out. Ignore the goal to game ratio because that is purely on, pretty much purely on um, squad battles. So yeah, but he's going to be a lot of fun this year. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to go through division, see how far we can get. The aim of the, the objective is to find out who's got the most depth in their team. Who's got the best overall depth. Um, whether it be Arsenal, uh, Chelsea, Everton, you know. So hopefully it makes it a bit fairer that the bronze players have to get a lower rating whereas the golds have to get quite high. And it should hopefully just bring everyone out averaging the same rating. But we'll find out. It might get to a point where we play the first game and everyone gets an upgrade. Um, I will be recording who has played, how many games each people have played, um, how many wins each of them have got, how many losses, how many upgrades they've got. Um, but yeah, hopefully with Omri guiding us, I need to give a fitness card for that player because that's not fair if he starts like that. Um, hopefully with Omri guiding us, he can take us to the promised land, Division 1. But we're starting in Division 10. Here we go guys, first game of Division 10, come against Lincoln City. Got a very start squad there, very, very start squad, basic. Um it's got Phil Jagielka, Andrew Sermon, Saido Berahino, the rest I could not tell you. Um not a clue. He's got a CDM at centre back, and a centre back a right back. Um but yeah. I think this guy may struggle a little bit, but he maybe you never know. People can be better than two. 
Foden to play it through to Henry. Henry's Henry. got overlap of Mahoney. Mahoney, first chance. Oh, it's a great save for Bird. Look at this one in. Matty James on the corner. Hooked in. Towards for Henry. Falling down to Phil Foden. Phil Foden. Oh! Found out he was born in 2000. So he is, at the time of recording, he is 17 years old. Foden. It's done well. Foden's got one in the middle to aim for. And it's Henri! 1 0. Thierry Henri. Take a bow, son. Good diving out, a good play. Mahoney runs down the wing, finds Henri in the middle. Gets the assist for Mahoney. Mahoney. Look like they may have already got their, the their uh, nice starting up the and going. Sometimes in these situations you see the play on the got ball. their first upgrade on Marie with a great glory. diving header. So 1 0. Mahoney sees the run of Phil Foden. It's got a little bit laggy at the minute. Looking Phil Foden's got it. He's got one in the middle to aim for if he wants to. Why did I do that? I did that by accident. Omri! Oh, what a call! What a goal! Let's go celebrate with the fans. What a goal from Thierry Omri. My word. Take a bow. I really need to change the numbers with the simple team. What a goal! Look at this. Foden heads it down. Omri just bangs it first time with his left foot and puts it in the corner. 2 0. Thierry Omri. Phil Foden. Plays in Omri. Omri can run at the defence. Give it to Mahoney. Mahoney now. It's going to be the Silvers on the attack today. Phil Foden! Oh, should be doing so much better. Tim Davy. Nice Davis. Phil Foden again. I'm having so much room down this left hand side that I don't see why I wouldn't run down there. Oh, it's a great ball. Omri! Alex Awobi though. Picks up the, the goal. To make it 3 now. Alex Awobi. He's paused it. I have a feeling the Hackney man. Maybe lead up. <laughs> Didn't even get to press pause. Um, yeah. 3 0 win. Let's look at the match ratings. See who's getting an upgrade. Here we go. So. It looks like everyone is getting an upgrade. I think it is. I think it's a full house. Everyone is getting an upgrade. Yeah, everyone's getting an upgrade. I'm pretty sure. So let's go. Let's skip to where these upgrades are in. Right, guys. So here we go. This is the team for the second game. Um, as you see, Matt Target is playing out of position. So he would need a six rating. He only needs a five to get an upgrade because he's playing in the wrong position. Um, we're also getting, with all the upgrades now done, we're also getting a little bit dangerous because we have four keepers. See, if it gets to a point where we have too many keepers and people need to be rotated, a goalie may have to play outfield. On the contrary, if we don't have enough keepers, we may have to play somebody else in goal. So, you know, it's a little bit of a give and take game. Um, but yeah, this is the team for the second game. Um, all our upgrades are done. We've got Sam Baldo, Julian Sperani, Charlie Musonda, who I'm looking forward to using. Five star square, five star weak foot, should be a bit of fun. Joe Robles, Jakubovic, uh, Muset, Watson, Diaz. Um, Matt Target is also a new person coming in. Cam Chambers is as well. Um, I think that's it for the upgrades. So that was everyone upgraded in that. Going into our next game with this team, um, hoping to get a result. Let's go. Here we go, our next opponent is here with Creed Dizzy Games. I don't know. Um, got a few people I know. Sidibe, Kempempe, Mtiti, Kazawa, Loni Verratti. He's got um, Luz Gustavo, Cyprian, I think that is. Uh, Thalvin, Ocampos, I think the left wing was. And Germain, maybe the striker. I think it's Germain. German. Uh, yeah, it was Germain. But here we go, into the game two. A lot harder than our last opposition. That is for sure. Darlow with a good save there. Keeps out uh, Marco Verratti. Just got to try and keep this out now. Oh, it's a good save. Out, out by Samuelson. Martin Samuelson. 
Jackson and look for the overlap from Matt Target. Bit of lag here. But it's not terrible. Finds great ball back to Martin Samuelson. Samuelson can hold it up. Finds Klukas. Klukas finds Ulverstad. Ulverstad. Finds Ungoy! Isn't Ungoy! He found Dominic Solanke and Ungoy just smashed it home. Ungoy for Stoke. Great goal. 1 0. Another Stoke lad. Goalie couldn't save it. It's a great bit of play. Here we go. So we see it again. Ulverstad gets here. Plays Dominic Solanke. Literally just plays a lovely ball into Ungoy. Yeah, there's an argument to say that. I think he's hit one nil. It's about that injury is Jeff Shreve. Jeff. Main. Good shot. Good save from Darlow. It's offering me subs. I'm not going to do them. In goes the corner. Ngoy. Look, finds Dominic Solanke. The counter is on. Omri needs to run. Omri ran. <laughs> Omri. He's got the ball. Omri. Thierry Omri. 2-0. Bit lag. There you go. Thierry Henry. 2-0. Dominic Slanky has picked up an injury. Um, but I cannot make a sub. Somebody to get to him. Jermaine. Good save from Darlow. That? And that's half time. 2-0 up. Good play from our team. He's had the majority of shots. They have been more long range though, and they have been blocked off quite a bit. We've had three shots through in target. And we've took our chances. Um, we've had the better chances, in my opinion, as well. There we go. Into the second half. Luis Gustavo. Ooh. Oh, he's missed that one up. Ngoy. Dominic Solanke. Back to Ngoy. Ngoy. Goes for the chip. The bronze striker from Stoke gets the chip. It's a lovely second assist. From Dominic Solanke for Ngoy. And it is 3 0, and we are balling. It's well, a great little ding. Cheeky. It's cheeky. Here you go, Ngoy. Julian Ngoy with his second goal of the game. Klukas finds Ngoy. Ngoy finds Omri. Omri, back to Ngoy. Back to Dominic Solanke. Back to Omri. Omri plays it back in. Dominic Solanke should do so much better. Man, that is poor from him. He's playing ultra attacking, by the way. He's got Samuel and Titi up front again. Almost like playing four, four players against four players. Um, but it's not working for him at the minute. Dominic Solanke, though, has turned his man. He should score. And Goy, though, for his hat-trick. Ungoy gets his hat trick, it's 4 0. Dominic Solanke should have scored, Ngoy did. He's really been on four. The Stoke runs player, and he's rage quit. That is two out of two rage quits for this episode. And one episode it is to start with. Let's see who will be getting the upgrades. So, as we look here, everyone, I believe, once again is getting an upgrade. Um, yep, everyone is. Did really well that game. Another 4-0 win. Well, sorry, a 4-0 win. Um, Ungoy getting a hat-trick. Omri getting one. Assist go to Ulverstad. Still, Dominic Slank got two. And Ungoy got one. Um, but yeah, everyone's getting an upgrade. Let's go find out who we're bringing in. Right, so welcome back. Um, these upgrades have not been kind to us again. Um, so we have now got no right-back. No second centre-back. Everywhere else we can fill... However, the population of goalkeepers have multiplied. We have now got seven goalies plus the one in goal. So we've got eight goalies in total. This has got to change at some point. And the way we're going to change that is we're going to have to put them outfield. Um, it will probably come in the start of the next episode that we start playing a couple of keepers outfield just to try and get rid of them. Because otherwise we're going to be stuck on them. But yeah, that will be hopefully the start of the next episode. But yeah. So, players that you may know in this team, Jesse Lingard, maybe Jack Stevens if you follow them, Haidara, he played for Newcastle a while ago, so he was in the Premier League when they went down and when they came back up, and Ben Watson played for Wigan, I think, um, played for a few teams in the Prem, back for Watford, um, 
he is the next player on our team. Um, but let's get right into the game. I'm going to give Omri a fitness card just to keep him fit. Here we go. But this is the next game. Here we go into the third and final game for this episode. Playing it's Wrecking Ball. He's got quite a strong team. Laporte, Talisa, Rabiot, Muller, Draxler, Naki Williams, San Jose, Demarcos. Uh, I'm struggling to name the other ones. Got a lot of players could build bow players. Couple of Bayern, couple of PSG. Looks like a good team though. Let's get into this. Hopefully we can get a result here. Talisa, Dumbo, found Muller. Muller. Oh, he's taking it past the man. Needs someone to close him down. Can't switch to the right player. Well, and it's 1 0. He's trying to switch to Hydara. But it wouldn't let me. <coughs> so it's 1 0. Thomas Muller. 1 0 down for the first time in the series. Just see Lingard on, on the attack. Just see Lingard now. Finds Mooset. Mooset. Finds Diaz. Diaz. Finds Field. Field. Finds back to Diaz. Plays into Bulldog. 1 0. That is a quick reply. Or as Spencer Owen would call a swift reply. Sam Bulldog up with the goal from Brighton. Great finish there. 1-0. Field. Bulldog. Again, just can't quite get the space. Lingard. Mousset. Free space. Mousset. 2-1. And that is us back in the lead where we should be. Mousset with a great goal. And now they are leading and, uh, joy and relief, it's a I great think, goal. It's a bit well. hit and miss here. Lingard and Mousset play 1-2. And, and Mousset has so much space that he just decides, you know what, guys, I'm going to bang this top corner. That does. 2-1. Henri. Sam Bulldog. Back to Henri. Henri now. Oh, hello. There's been a mistake by the defence. Henri! Somehow it's not gone in. Oh, how's it not gone in? Unlucky. From Thierry Henry. 2 1 at half time. Um, doing well. Need to keep up this pressure, though. We, we, they are. They are going the counter attack a couple of times and giving us a bit of grief. But we are still in this. We're still in a good position here. Thierry Henry. Henry. Move the attackers. Finds Mooset. Mooset. It's back from Ray. Dangerous ball back in. What has Coley done? What has he done? Diaz! Oh! Field. Not a great ball from him. First time that's not been a great ball. Ben Watson trying to deal with Muller. Not deal with him well. Hydara needs to do something and didn't. Muller makes it 2 all. Frustrating. All came from mistakes from us. Um, yeah, we'll play on. Lingard. Sam Bulldog can turn and run. Ref, he's been tripped. Free kick range. Wait for everyone to settle out. Don't mark that guy. Okay, that's right. Sam Bulldog! That is why he, you have to be careful about putting a player on the line. Field may get the assist, but I doubt it. Well, there we go. 3 2 back on the lead. Sam Bulldog, the Brighton player. The Brighton striker gets honouring Henri back into the lead. Field. We need someone on the left hand side. That's where we need Henri. That's a pass back. What? Definitely 100% a pass back there. Lolly. Diaz. Lingard. Bulldog. Henri turns his man. Omri! Oh, it's so unlucky. Lolly, great interception. Finds Lingard. Lingard finds Field. Field with a great win. Finds Mousset. Mousset smashes it in. 4 2. That could be game, set, and match. 
Mousset with a great goal there. Smashes it into the corner. Or far. Yeah. 4 2. Look at Cross. And Bulldog. I can't quite find the ball to find Henri. I want Henri to get a goal, but I don't think it's, I think it's a little too late. Oh, hello. Keeps you come out, in my opinion. Didn't. Like Stevens, though. Henri should be doing better with that. Causing us issues. Howgard has to make the big save. Got to get this one out, guys. Don't want any pressure on in the last few minutes. Howgard, great save again. Keeping us at 4 2 at the minute. Don't want to. Deal with that again. Lingard, not a great clearance. Lolly's chasing San Jose out for it. It's Fantaliso in the box. Ben Watson's made a tackle. The refs have deemed it a foul. I'm not too sure on that one. I would like to see it again. This is going to make it a very interesting couple of minutes, though. If he can put this one in. Howgard, the big man. Could he make the save and keep us? At. No, he can't. 4 2. But it's 4 3 now. Last few minutes, we'll just hold on and just keep the ball, I think, to see out this 4 3 win. There we go, full time. 4 3, the end score. Penalty at the last minute gave him a hope, but we just kept the ball on the attack and didn't let him have a chance. Uh, once again. Everyone is getting an upgrade. Um, seems weird considering we scored three goals that everyone gets an upgrade. But yeah, everyone's in the pretty much, apart from our goalie, is in the eight points or above. Um, that's a bit ridiculous. But everyone will be getting an upgrade. I'll show you what our team looks like before the next episode in just a minute. Back in a minute. So guys, this is the team to start off the next episode. Um, as you can see, there is four goalies filling out the squad, so I'm very nervous about playing this next game. Um, I have, however, tried to force it with as much attack as possible with Rashford and Musonda in, as well as Omri, obviously. Robson Carno also filling out the attack. Will Hughes, Adam Bogdan, got the Pope in here. Um, Gardos, Hayden, Spironi, and Grant in goal. Um, didn't get many goalies from those upgrades. Got Zinchenko in as well now. Um, Izzy Brown, uh, Cook. Dean Whitehead and all the others that I've just named anyway. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Honouring Omri. I will try and get the next episode out as soon as possible. Um, thank you all for joining me. Um, looking forward to the next episode. Looking forward to going through this series. It should be fun. It should be a lot of fun. But yeah, if there's anything that you think I can change, leave it in the uh, comments below. Please like, subscribe if you have enjoyed, obviously. And I will see you in the next episode.